When it comes to a truly unique and special musical experience, there's just nobody on earth quite like Tori Amos. And for that reason, as far as I'm concerned, there's only two types of people on earth. People who love Tori Amos and people who need to get a clue. For more than 20 years, I've been falling in love with Tori Amos's music over and over and over again. As there's this magical, captivating quality to nearly every song that I can never get enough of. It's the way that she weaves in these often intensely dark stories into her music that first pulled me in, as they manage to completely engage you in their tales the likes of which you just can't find anywhere else. More to that, some of these are the types of stories that you could actually never experience firsthand, but you can completely understand and get into that headspace thanks to the way that she presents it. But she's also able to delve into worlds of fantasy and create these entire worlds in your mind. And it's these moments of truly getting lost in these worlds that I love the most. Let's also not forget that the very blunt and very dark style of her lyrics were extremely uncommon when she was doing this more than 20 years ago. A lot of the themes she talks about are kind of taken for granted now, but the reality is they're taken for granted because of what Tori did. And so many artists owe their entire career to the pioneering efforts of going out and saying what needed to be said that Tori did. From Hey Jupiter, to Mother, to Icicle, to Silent All These Years, nobody sounds quite like Tori. And it's the unsettling strength in these often delicate arrangements that makes her sound so unique. And it's also that element that defines why so many of us remain so passionate about her music after so many years. Tori will write songs that will shock you because they're stories that need to be told, not because it's some sort of marketing effort. She's not trying to seem edgy. She's saying what needs to be said and letting you deal with it. And come on, at that time, who was making edgy, dark songs on piano that were getting mainstream appeal? Nobody. It might seem a given in the current pop scene, but that's thanks to what Tori did on Little Earthquakes and Under the Pink. Then of course there are Tori's live performances, which for many are nothing short of a religious experience. Honestly, of the thousands of concerts I've been to in my life, nobody brings their audiences to emotional levels and outright tears as consistently as Tori. And you'd be hard pressed to find a more passionately dedicated fan base than she has. She gets something beyond raw and absolutely captivating in every performance, often playing two pianos at the same time. And there's this sense of sensuality and showmanship every time she hits stage. It's a woman who loves performing, loves her fans, and you can feel it in every note she plays. She's able to balance tales of warning and woe with beautiful musical artistry. And it's often when she gets the darkest and most chilling that these songs hit the hardest and are in the end the best. The fact is there isn't anyone in history even remotely on the same plane as Tori Amos. And the reality that she remains just as uncompromising and innovative with her music as ever, it shows just how much she loves the act of musical creation. And the fact that she remains as true to herself today as she did when I first got into her music is maybe the main reason why to this day I outright love Tori Amos. Whoa!